Hey guys, how's it going? All right, today we are going to talk about alcohol inks. And today's brand is Alta New, and this is um, Azurite, Wisteria, and Deep Iris for starters. Um, and then we'll be using the Ranger Silver Mixative. Um, I've been trying to figure this out for a little bit now. Um, Misty and I, you guys know um, Misty that does the Stash Builder collab. Um, I finally got one, well, two. And so now I'm like, I'm going to go try that some more uh, that I like. So I'm, I'm, I'm trying to figure out how to do the waves and things like that. But I like this. This is on Yupo paper. So, um, and then <laughs> this, I like the colors, although I still think I can cut something out and make a card, but not so much the other stuff. This, I was just trying out random colors, but this was going to be something and now it's not. But this right there, I think is salvageable. And, and then this, um, this is a different kind of paper. I'll talk about that soon but I do like these colors I'm just it's not like meant to be cohesive it's just testing out you know whatever and then this was the other sample today that I got and I really like so I'm grooving on that and uh, this is on that other paper I was telling you about um not Yupo so um hang on there's more I'll show you guys all my samples so this was on the black Yupo paper, which I'm kind of struggling with. Um, like Misty said, it kind of soaks up everything. So, I don't know. If you're going to use that, the good luck to you. But, um, I like I put purple and blue and everything, and it's just basically silver. You know, so I don't know. Um, but this is the style of Yupo paper I'm using. I don't know if they're different types or anything or not, but that's what I've got. And, and then I did this the other day. This is okay. I can kind of live with this, but this was like the old, um, I would use this and I would just pounce, right? And so that was, you know, but that was kind of the only technique, uh, or not, I don't know if that's a technique, but I don't even know how to do, but okay. So the other paper I was talking about is called A brand called Utopia and um, it's bright white and it's just a matte cardstock so there's nothing um, oh, I'm knocking everything over um, I don't know I used to do the retiform technique and um, so not, that wasn't with alcohol inks but and back in the day like at some stamp convention or whatever uh, they had this, and so I ordered, like, a large pack of it, um, and then this is what I only have, like, a little, one second, well, I can't grab it, but I only have a couple of sheets larger than this, um, but this is glossy. Misty says they still make it. Um, it's called Chrome Coat or Glossy Cardstock, so I'm going to look for that because that's what I got the best results on back in the day. Um, uh, but I've just, you know, I, I don't have it anymore. So, um, like I said, I have a few sheets of this. We may test that out or something sometime if you want. But anyway, so, um, I have learned, I think, <laughs> through this, that I'm going to go back to the Yupo here. Um, it does take a little bit to dry. So, I was going to do it on that one, but I think I'm going to do the Yupo. So, um, and I also think that because it's kind of a plasticky paper, that you could actually do, use both sides and then you could determine which one you want. Um, so one of the things I was doing was just putting dots of it down and then a little bit of mixative and all that. But, um, I, I, I don't know, like, I guess because I don't have much of this, um, I wasn't using very much, and Misty mentioned that last night, um, that she wasn't either, and so you can use regular alcohol, so that's what I'm going to be switching to as soon as I run out of this, but, um, uh, and I thought there was a percentage difference, like, you could only use the 91% isopropyl alcohol, but 
then I read in another place that that didn't matter. And some people say it does. Some people say it doesn't. Some people say it has to be the 71. I don't know. I'm not really sure. So we'll see. Um, but I was not putting any of this down ahead of time, right? So I think that has helped me, first of all. And then I decided I'm going to be doing it this azurite at the top. Okay, I'm letting it kind of trickle down here. That's the wisteria. And then a little bit more with the um, deep iris. And it doesn't have to stay in this order necessarily, but like, you know. Okay, a little more of that. And a little bit of mixative. You can, now, what I honestly don't like to do is the dots. I forgot. I just did the dots because I'm so used to it. But um, do it like a stripe. But mine's not really working, so we might have to stick with, yeah, it's not at all. Hmm. This is a really old one. I have a new one if I need it, but okay. So now we have to do the heat gun. That is the ticket is the heat gun, though. I'm not even mad at using it this time. And a little more alcohol to loosen up that spot. You can move it that way, or you can just, if you pull it away, like push it, and then pull it back, that's where you're going to get your waves, I've learned, so. start so I like this darker one a little bit around the edge just because I think with stamping you know you're gonna need the middle a little bit more um, to stamp so I'm just gonna do a lot of that light purple here and there and again whew, it kills me but you have to be generous with that so I'm not getting anything out of this booger. So we will switch to these that I got on sale. So I'll deal with that one later. Well, you gotta shake it up. Oh, all my stuff's gonna dry in the meantime. But it'll be fine, I guess. You should need to shake it up a little bit more, to be honest, but oh well. Alright, so then give it another spritz of this and get some movement going so it's not in little circles and the heat gun again. take those white spots add a little purple here and there do some purple over here what color are we missing we're missing some blue down here aren't we It does tend to puddle here, so you can kind of, you can lean it, or you can sort of push it out with this. If you want more silver, you can add more silver, but I feel like that in the middle is, is uh, okay. Except, I still need these white spaces kind of covered. You don't have to have all your white spaces. I guess covered, but it kind of, sometimes I want it if I'm doing just a, like, sheet, I could have white up here, and that would be fine, but for right now, it's kind of bugging me. Now, and it drips off. 
which if you had something else, we could just soak it up, but, but we don't, so we'll just wipe it up. And if you get it on your craft mat, you can pour some of that blending solution on your craft mat and it'll wipe up much, much better. So, all right, um, so that's that one. We're gonna be making cards with these, but not right now. I've got to let them dry because it seems like on the UPO paper, um, it definitely takes a while. So, okay, so now I'm going to try to, um, um, to do one like this. Although, actually, that was UPO paper, huh? Well, we're gonna try it on on this just matte cardstock. I want something that's a little bit more economical than buying UPO all the time, you know? So do you guys use this a lot? Do you do, you do alcohol inks very much? So for this one, we're going to do, let me put the lid back on this. And all these. Um, all right, 23, nope. Make sure I get the right uh, lid on the right one. You can't just screw it on. You've got to pop the little thing right in the middle there, and then it'll let you, um, which I'm not very good at, then it'll let you twist it. But anyway, so do you guys, I used to use alcohol inks more. I would use them on coasters and make little gifts and like dominoes. You guys remember when that was like a big trend, stamping on dominoes and making little necklaces. And I like that. Um, okay, so now we're going to brighten it up with some fresh lemon, some canyon clay. I need a brighter orange, but I don't have one, so that'll have to do. Um... Or you know what? Well, it'll be fine. Um, not in this brand anyway. So, and cotton candy. All right. So, we will start off with, I guess, some orange. Oh, oh, oh. I forgot already. Put alcohol down. Or blending solution in this case. Okay. Um, all right. So, we weren't finished with that. This is not exactly the pink I would do either, <laughs> but whatever. And I'll probably do a brighter yellow. Okay, so either, none of these I really want to, whatever, but it's okay. <laughs> it's not like the exact color combo I'm looking for, but we'll do something with it. So this is just a gold mixative. Okay, so we'll put a little of that here and there and hit it with the heat tool. Just add some more orange, some more blendy, blendy, lots of pink, lots of yellow. Okay, I don't know about this one, but we'll see. Tilt it up a little. You probably need to decide which direction. Like first I was going down this way, now I'm going that way, so that would probably help. But that's, you know, um, just experimenting a bit today, so it doesn't have to be perfect. <laughs> Y'all just don't know how much it's killing me to use that much blending solution. <laughs> I don't know why. When things are a little expensive, I'm like, oh. Okay, so let's do a little of this here and there and everywhere. Thank you. 
brush and guide a little over those white spots. We got a little too um, heavy handed here. Let me get another paper towel and kind of it's never gonna dry or it may be too much for this paper to like soak in. But so far it's not coming through the back, so the coating on there works, you know what I mean? Let's give a little pink around this edge just in case we do some square cuts. Add a little that, and a little of that, and swish it on down the road. So it kind of looks messy and things now, but um, I don't mind it because we're just going to be cutting, you know, backgrounds and stuff out. So I think it'll be, it'll be fine. Plus it's light enough to stamp on. I'm drawn to darker colors, but then when you're trying to stamp on them, it's, you know, hard to show up. So um, I probably like that one better, but of course when you turn the camera on, nothing, you know, works the right way. Anyway, so there's that. But plus, this one was Yupo paper, so I don't know if that um, made a, a difference, really, or not. But anyway, um, lots more to chat about, but um, we will do it in, I guess, in the next video. And I want to also th say thank you to Misty, Nadia, and Shirley for my happy meal, which I'll try to show you in the next video because, you know, I don't have it all in here. Um, but anyway, uh, let me know what you do with alcohol inks, if you like them, if you don't, what brands you like. I, I like the colors of this, but there's some colors that I would really like that I that Alta New has been out of for a long, long time. So I kind of feel like they're not coming back. I don't know, but I hope so. Um, but And these also will refill the, um, the alcohol ink, their alcohol ink markers. So that's cool if you want to get the markers and get these. You, you know, you can use them for different techniques like this or you can refill your markers. So that's kind of cool. But anyway, I hope you guys are doing well and surviving the heat. Um, we've had a little break from the heat a little bit for the last two days. It's only been in the 80s. So, um, and while I used to say that was hot, <laughs> I no longer say that's hot because now it's always like 95, 96 degrees. So, but it's, it's coming back today. So, oh well. Um, but anyway, we're surviving. So, hope you guys are too. So, stay cool. Stay artsy. Talk to you later. Bye.